Hello everyone, it's Anne here and I'm excited to be with you tonight. I am popping on early. As many of you know, we are big hockey fans in our house and the Canadian World Juniors are playing tonight at six. So I thought instead of canceling my Facebook Live, I would just move it till five. So if you're on, say hi. I'll give Facebook a few minutes to let you know I've gone live. And if you're watching on the replay, if you're here, say hi. If you're watching on the replay, please let me know you're here and where you're from. I'm just making sure everything looks good. I got a bit of a shadow, so I'm just trying to figure that out. Just give me a minute. I'll move my phone here. There, that's better. Okay. All right, so welcome. Um, welcome to our Monday night crafting session. Can you believe it? This is our fourth crafting session. I'm so excited. So that's four weeks in a row that I'm doing Facebook Lives with you on Monday. And that just makes my heart happy because that means we're connecting and we're stamping and we're just having a great time together. So my name is Anne Granger. I'm an independent demonstrator here in Canada. And as I said, I'm excited to be with you tonight. Um, so if you're joining uh, now, please say hi. Let me know you're here. And if you're watching on the replay, let me know you're here. You can find me at my blog, which is www.stampwithann.com. And for the month of January, this is our host code. So if you were to place an order with me during the month of January, and your order is over $50, you're going to get the re Risen Hearts in this cute little, with this cute little belly band. How cute is he? It's the snail mail. So that is what you receive from me as my thank you for shopping with me. Um, if you place an order during the month of January and you use this host code. And if your order is over 50, not to worry, I will, and you don't use a hostess code, I will know that to tag that along with your order. And then I will ship them out to you at the end of, um, the beginning of February. So, you will find this video, I will upload this video to my YouTube channel and I will have the projects that we are making tonight on my blog later in the week, probably Wednesday. And let's get started. So what I wanna share with you tonight is just a few things before we get started and then I'll show you the project. So tomorrow starts our new um, mini catalog. And so just our mini catalog starts tomorrow along with celebration. I don't know what I did with my catalog or my thing. I was like, oh, so celebration. So these two new catalogs start tomorrow. If you don't have a copy, let me know and I can pop one in the mail to you. I will be going to the mail post office one day this week. Um, so I can pop one if you're here in Canada and don't have a demonstrator, I would love to help you out. So for my customers, what I'm doing for the month of celebration is two months, January and February, we're doing a celebration celebration. So what it is, is if you, um, Earn, you're, you can earn a spot with me in March and there will be a free event. So how you earn a spot is you spend at least 200 during celebration, which is either from January 5th to February 28th. If you spend $200, you'll be getting invited to my free event. Or if you join one of my three online classes, I posted an online class this week and I will be posting a bunch more in the next, um, another one at the end of the, towards the end of the month and then two more in February. Uh, so if you join at least three of them, you will also get to participate in this event. There will be make and takes, there'll be prizes, there'll be gifts, and there'll be so much more. And it's just my way of saying thanks for supporting me during celebration. So that is what I'm looking forward to um, help with you guys. So we're gonna do a celebration celebration in March. So that, I will post this on my Facebook group and in our blog. So I wanted to share with you tonight is a project that I made. I'm gonna show you the project and I'm gonna show you what we're making. Um, so I was on blog hopping, not blog hopping, I was on Facebook and my friend Diana Gibbs, who is in the States, created this see-through card and I was like, oh, that's really cool. Like, how do you do it? So I watched her video and I was like, wow, that's really neat. So I'm going to be making this card with you tonight and I have two more samples to share with you at the end of the card, um, at the end of the night, um, of what I did with this technique. And this technique is a little different than the one I did um, I just did it different. So I am using the new product called Sweet Strawberry. It is a stamp set and a coordinating punch, which is great if you love punches. Um, so you can see it punches up the strawberry and the leaves. So that is a great set. In this, you can purchase is the Berry Delightful DSP. So I wanted to show you what that DSP looks like. Now I, this is 12 by 12 and I just cut it into six by six so it'd be easier to show during the video. So I'm just gonna show you the pattern. Look at those cute raspberries and some beautiful leaves. This paper is gorgeous. 
looks like um looks like our uh, what do I want to say elderberries kind of cute with that this I love this one so vibrant with this fun blue pattern um strawberries and red another strawberries with this and then this one with this so great patterns so as you can see if you're not a fan of the bold patterns on the front at least you can like the patterns on the back i always find stampin up has a really busy pattern on the front but then on the pattern on the back is like one that you can use for everyday use and sometimes these patterns look big busy when they're big but when you cut them up they definitely um are a little better so we are going to be using that so i'm going to put our project so actually well this is called a see-through card so how it looks is like it looks here i've seen them done with window sheets but this is how you create this one so I'm going to share with you how we make that. As I said, all this information will be on my blog, um, probably on Wednesday or Thursday. I am using Granny Apple Green. It is five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. So we're just going to score that. We're using a piece of the Berry Delight DSP, and it is um, four by five and a quarter. And we're going to put that down like that. And then you have a piece that is four by five and a quarter for your white. I have a stitched scallop circle, which is done from the layering circle dies. I already cut it out because I had was creating on the weekend. I wasn't sure if I wanted the red or the green pink. Um, so I had one done. And then I'm using a white stitched shape die. Okay, so how this works is you are going to grab your adhesive and you're going to put it down like this. And you're just going to adhere it to your cardstock. Now, I forgot to grab a set of dies. Let me grab that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we need to create this part of our card right here. Okay, so what you're going to need for that, let me just move some stuff out of the way is you're going to need your die cutting machine. So this is our, our stamp and cut and boss, which I call it the big boss. And you're going to want to get these curvy dies. Now, these curvy dies are a new collection that will be in our January to June, which is I'm calling it the JJ Mini. Or you can buy it as part of a bundle right now that is today called the Curvy Celebration. So this bundle is only available till tonight, which is January 4th. Um, so this is the quite curvy stamp set, and these are the dies, which will be available um, carrying forward in our new January to June mini. And then, but tonight only, you still have the chance to purchase this stamp set and the designer series paper if you wanted to make some different cards with that. So that tonight is only, they're only available for tonight. So what we're using is this set right here, this die. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up our card, and we're going to lay our piece down. And we're just going to lay it like that. Okay. And then you're going to run it through the big shot. So just pinch it. And we're going to just run it through. Okay. So when we do that, what happens is it actually cuts our paper. And it's okay if you want the little designs or not. I think it just adds a little bit. So I'm going to move this out of our way. And I'm going to grab our paper trimmer. So as I said, I use the curvy dies that will be part of the quite curvy bundle that you can buy in the new catalog. Okay, so this piece here, we need to, don't throw it away, you need it. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put this end piece because this is going to become this piece down here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it on your trimmer and you're going to cut it at one inch. So you can throw that other piece away. So that's basically what you need. So then what we're gonna do is, so you can see that how the card is starting to come together. Now, here's a tip. Don't glue this piece down. The first card I made, I actually glued this piece down and I was like, wait, how does my card open? It did not work. So don't throw this piece out. Don't throw that piece, don't glue that piece down is what I'm saying. Okay, so we're going to just put this down for now. And we're going to 
figure out, I want to kind of figure out where I want my stamping to be. So this is going to be a birthday card. And we're going to use the same happy birthday, you sweet thing. And we're going to use Poppy Parade. Now, I just inked my Poppy Parade, so I'm going to get just a little mat to bring us in here. Um, I'm going to put that off to the side for a minute just till I. Okay. So we're inking with Poppy Parade. And I chose Poppy Parade because it's one of the colors that are in the actual. Um, pattern paper so it's one of the colors along with grainy apple so I'm just kind of like laying my pieces down so I can see my placement for my greeting so here's a trick what I did was once I had my greeting where I wanted it I kind of put some pattern paper like uh, not pattern posty note so I knew where my greeting was gonna go let's just double check yeah okay so we're going to ink it up and we're going to stamp happy birthday you sweet thing right there. So now the reason why I did that was it helped just kind of line, oh, so look at that, I'm a little above where I wanted to be. It's okay, we'll move this down a little bit. Let me see. We might have to stamp it over. It's okay. Nope, that's good. It's, we want it to be like a little message. Okay, so let me move my ink pad out of the way. Okay, so now that we have this, we can glue this down. As I said, this is called a see-through fancy fold card is what I'm calling it. And I'm just gonna glue it down a little bit. And then I'm going to glue this piece down, which is right here. So this piece is just going right up against the edge, so we're creating that base of the card. And it's okay, it'll be like a little see-through card. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in our white and we're going to bring in our paper piercer mat because I just wanna stamp on here. Okay, so I need, the, so with this stamp set, there is, you will need the solid strawberry and the seed outline. So I'm gonna call the solid image and then the outline image. So what I'm going to do is we're going to stamp two strawberries in Poppy Parade. And we're going to actually stamp off because I want it to be a lighter tone. So it's always good to have a, a, like a, a mat underneath you so that you can um, stamp off. So now we're going to use the outline and we're actually going to use it in full strength because what we're doing is we're outlining the strawberries. Now the neat thing about this bundle is that it actually has a coordinating set. Mm, we'll work with it in the celebration. And I will show you that. So if you place a $60 order during the celebration, you could get this very paper to go with it. So that's actually the paper I'm using is a free. So if you get the, um, you can get this stamp set and the paper for free if you place a $120 order during celebration. So I wanted to share that with you to show you the neat, how our products coordinate together. Okay, so now we're gonna do the leaves. So we need the leaf outline and we need the solid leaf. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in a scrap piece of paper Always save your scraps. You never know when you can use it for cutting out things. <clears throat> We're gonna use Granny Apple Green. And same thing, I'm gonna stamp two leaves. Now, if I look at my punch, just so you have an idea, I'm just gonna show you. So if I'm punching, I want my leaf to be over here and I want another one to be over here. You don't want them to be too close because if you do, oh, I meant to stamp off. Oh, well, we'll just do it. They don't look that dark. Um, you don't want it to be. Um, you don't want it to be in line where you're going to punch your next one. Oh, and I'm a little over. That's okay. So as you can see, the one thing about our punches is you can line them up. So I'm just going to. Punches are great for beginner stampers, or if you're just not a big fan of die cutting, then our punches are the way to go. 
this catalog actually has a lot of new punches, which is kind of nice. So, punches I said are great. Okay, so let me just clean up here. And I'm going to pull those aside. Stick that in. Okay, so I have this. I'm going to close up my ink pad because I don't want it to, don't want to stick my fingers in it. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put on our leaves. Now, I have to tell you, I love strawberries. Strawberries are like one of my favorite fruits. We are very lucky where we live here in um, where I live. There is a strawberry farm like 15, 10 minutes from where we live. And once their strawberries come out in June, we are there like once a week. We eat a flat, like no time flat. We love them so, they're so juicy. Oh. And then when you have to buy strawberries in the winter, they're just not the same. So we do love our strawberries. Um, and if you're in the London and surrounding areas, make sure you visit Eamons because they are the best. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this on. All right, so now we're gonna bring this back over. And I'm going to, so we'll see how we're putting that down. So now what you want to do is you want to get some dimensionals. Just making sure, I don't know if I, oh. Uh, Nancy says, hi, uh, go Canada. Yes, go Canada. We are hoping it will be a good game tonight. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to lay this down. And what you're going to do is you're going to put your, adhesive down here. Hi Leslie. Hi Heather. Hi Monique. Thanks for joining tonight. And then you're just going to peel them off. Okay. And then you're going to put your strawberry, your thing on like that. So now when you open your card, I get it? I think I might have put it a little. Oh. Uh oh. Guess what I did? I sealed my card down. Oh my. Look at that. When I told you guys not to do it, I did it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull it up and show you what it's supposed to look like. Don't do this. See? I knew there's a reason why I did this, so show you not to do this. Okay, no one caught that either. So. This is not supposed to be sealed down. So what we're gonna do is, I have some adhesive tape, and we're gonna pull it off. Let's see if we can make this card work. We used to sell one of these. And... So, you do not want to put tape here. I might make another one just to show you quickly. Okay, let's make a quick another one. Uh, we're gonna rescue this and make another one. Sorry, let's do this quickly. See, even crackers make mistakes. All right, so this is five and a half. Has to be right. We have to show you the right way. Okay, and then we're gonna grab our designer series paper. So this is four, oh, five, five and a quarter. Always save your pieces, your scraps, because they will make great little pieces after. All right, let's put this aside. Fold this card again. <laughs> Oh man. Well, if you're just joining me, you get to rewatch how we did this. And actually, I'm going to show you a tip. Put that down. And I have a stash of whites always cut, ready to go for the inside. Okay, so let me just bring that. I'm going to blame it on Monday after holidays. That's what happens, right? I don't know. I have been crafting a lot, so that's good. I think I'm just out of the mojo of doing things. Okay, so let's actually just do it this way. I want to show you. Um, quickly, how that looks. Side. 
have you guys ever made a card mistake where you had to start over? And look, I even said at the beginning of it, I did exactly what I did in my other card. So I'm showing you not what to do. Don't glue this piece down. Okay, here we go again. So we have this piece, we have this piece, we have this piece, and we're already good. So all we have to do is stamp the inside. So let's lay this down. We're going to lay this piece. We're not going to glue it down. Oh, look at that. You know what? We're going to do this on the opposite side and have a sneak peek. Look at that. Well, I'm going to do it different. And you guys can let me know which one you like better, to the left or to the right. So I'm going to get my greeting. And we're just going to stamp it over in this corner. Cut that out. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to glue this down just like this. This is not getting glued down. This is going to sit here like this. We're going to close this. We're going to grab our dimensionals and we're going to put them down. And my dimensionals are sticking. I don't want to come off. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to pull this off just like this. All right, make sure this is lined up. So what I'm doing is making sure this piece is lined up with the base of my card. We're going to close this and we're going to put this on like this. And then when it opens, it creates that card. How fun is that? What do you think? Which one do you like better? The strawberries off to the left or the strawberries off to the right? Let me know, I'll wait a few minutes. So this is a cool card. I'm gonna, we call it this um, see-through card. So it's just kind of like a peekaboo, or it could be a peekaboo card, just showing you how to do that. So there's the coup cards I made with this set, but I wanted to share you with, show you the card I made, the other two cards. So my first card I made was, where is it? So I made this card um, on, I'll just put these to the side and then I'll bring it back. So this was a card I made for New Year's. Um, with us being in like lockdown, we didn't really go anywhere. So my plan while I watched the um, Junior's hockey game was to have a hot chocolate and chocolate. So this was my card that I made and showcased the other night um, using the playful patterns and nothing better than. So that was just a great one. So then I was like, I think this would be a cool idea for Facebook Live. So I wanted to showcase a couple other ideas for you. So that was a card I made. So then I got playing and I originally was gonna go with this snail. Um, he's from Sna snail, snail Mail, which is so cute. I love this guy. Um, and I thought, well, that's kind of cute. So I did that one next. And this was a card that I was actually gonna plan for tonight. But then I decided to do the strawberries and I wanted to do it where there was, cause these both had white bases. So I wanted to do a different card base. So that was that. And I wanted to share a tip with you when I colored him and I will be doing some more projects with the snail mail in the future. But look what I did. I colored, stamped some blends. Um, I stamped some images onto a piece of paper. Thick white is what you want to use if you have thick white. Right now our thick white is sold out, but Stampin' Up! is supposed to be bringing in a new basic white. We're just waiting for it to get in stock and it to be released. So what I did was I um, stamped some images and then I took my blends and I colored and I wrote down the colors that I used in that image. So you can see, because then I could play around with the colors and see which one I liked the best. Um, and I really liked the pool party stamp. So this is a great way if you're testing out images and you want to see the way blends look before you actually color them on your project, do a little test pilot. So that's just a little tip for you for tonight. And then I created um, this one and this one. This is the one we did tonight. So Leslie says she likes the strawberries to the right. Ah, oh, and Nancy said both are nice. Thanks, Nancy and Leslie. Yeah, kind of, they just give a different look, but I really do like them. So there is four cards using the um, see-through technique that I shared with you. As I said earlier, if you're just dropping on, um, if you're watching in the replay, let me know you're here. 
Uh, these will be posted to my YouTube channel, so make sure you follow me. Uh, my YouTube channel is just Ann Granger. Um, follow that, and then if you like my video, give me some likes. Give me some love, because that's how Facebook and YouTube likes it, is when people give them likes and comments on their videos. Um, and then I just wanted to remind you that if you were to spend over $50 this month, you will get this um, re the resin hearts as a thank you from me for shopping with me and Granger, um, which is Stamp with Ann. And also that if you spend, you will uh, spend $200 or more during the celebration promotion, you will be invited to my celebration celebration in March, which will be an online event, so you can participate anywhere here in Canada. Um, and you can also earn a spot if you join three of my online classes. So I will be popping back on um, at some point in the week because I want to share my new online class with you. Um, I am deciding to, right now with lockdown, we can't do classes here, so I'm missing my in-person classes, but I really wanted to do bring classes to you. And if you've been to my in-person classes, you know that I'm a huge chocolate fan. I love my chocolate, I love my M&Ms, I love everything, anything with chocolate in it. So I thought our new class series would be chocolate and cards. So you're going to get some chocolate in your packages. So you can eat chocolate and create your cards and it'll be like you're in my studio. So how fun will that be? I'm just going to check back to see if there's any comments or questions. Hi Andrea, thanks for joining. So if you have any questions or comments on my projects tonight, I would love to see them. Thank you so much for joining me and for joining me because I'm a couple hours early. But as I said earlier, we're big hockey fans and the Canadians are on tonight. So we need to make sure we're able to watch that. And, um, and we're like, we have strict rules in the house. They can't talk when the game's on. You can only talk in intermission. So I knew I wanted to do my Facebook Live. I did not want to cancel out. So all this will be on my Facebook, on my YouTube channel, on my blog in the next couple days. So you can go back and see the project. I will be back next Monday night with another project for you, but I will be popping on at some point to share my um, You Are Amazing Project Kit Chocolate and Cards online class. So everyone have a great night. Let's say go can to go because we want them to move on to the finals tomorrow. Enjoy the rest of your evening and thank you for joining me. Oh, thanks, Andrea. Andrea said beautiful cards. Thank you for joining me and I will see you again real soon. Bye, everyone.